just a moment. Yeah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Fellow Toastmasters, welcome to at another exciting meeting at Satvik Toastmasters Club. I am Toastmaster Shahid, Sergeant at Arms for today's meeting. So let me start with the mission of our Toastmasters. The mission of Toastmaster Club is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. In order to have a smooth meeting, here are some ground rules. Speakers are requested to refrain from making any reference to politics, sex, or religion in their speeches. Please put yourself on mute when not speaking. Don't interrupt while someone is speaking. Be attentive throughout the meeting. Being it's our Sotvik Toastmasters for Healthy Living, we have a medical disclaimer. The content, the video description links, which are the comments, cannot and does not contain any medical or health advice. The medical information is provided for the general information and educational purpose only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. Accordingly, before taking any action based upon such information, we encourage you to consult with the appropriate professionals. We do not provide any kind of medical or health advice. The use of reliance of any information contained in this content is solely at your risk. So without any further ado, let me hand over the baton to our energetic Madam President Vrunda Sheshikumar, who is a HR professional all the way joined from Vancouver, Canada. So let's have a great meeting. It's over to you, Madam President. Thank you so much, SA and VP at Shahid. Welcome everyone to another wonderful edition of the Satvik Toastmasters for Healthy Living meeting. I would firstly like to welcome all the guests and Toastmasters uh, who have joined us today. Uh, let me invite uh, Toastmaster Madan Kumar, if you could please unmute and introduce yourself. Uh, welcome to Satvik. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, a very good morning. Uh, myself, Madan. I am from Avishan Toastmasters Club. Great. And how did you hear about Satvik? Uh, I have been uh, one of my club members was part of this uh, 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 and he asked me to okay. join this WhatsApp group. So I get notifications. Great, about the great. and welcome. We meet all Sundays at seven o'clock in the morning. So you're welcome to join us anytime. Uh, we have uh, Toastmaster Senthil Kumar. Uh, Senthil, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Senthil. I'm uh, already a Toastmaster. So I just saw this in a WhatsApp group joined over here. Great. Welcome, Senthil, and we look forward to uh, knowing you also. Uh, we have our speaker and Toastmaster Anjali uh, also with us. Anjali, uh, let's get introduced. Uh, can you introduce yourself, uh, how you got to know about Satvik? And I know you're speaking here today. So just a brief introduction would be great. Morning, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. I'm Toastmaster Anjali from Pragati Toastmasters Club. Currently serving as VP of Pragati Toastmasters Club. I'm a student. So I'm looking for a spe uh, speaker slot. Then my VP tell me this club name. So I joined this. Thank you. Welcome, Anjali. Welcome. Yeah, it's a pleasure to see you. We also have some students in our club. Uh, unfortunately, they're not in today, but uh, we do have some guests also who are students. So we have a mix of uh, senior Toastmasters, some professionals, 
uh, some young students and we are an online club so we are based across the globe so i am based out of canada uh, we have dtm noor who is from kuwait uh, we have hari who is based out of trivandrum in kerala uh, we have jk who is based in delhi shahid is in hyderabad ashish is right now in bihar so it's really a big um, cultural uh, get together we talk about a lot of topics our topics are really interesting whether there is an agenda or no agenda and with all said let's begin today's meeting today's meeting is a fantastic energy provoking meeting it is a meeting themed by postmaster sorry it is a team uh, theme designed by postmaster jk arora a brief introduction of jk arora he is the founder and ceo of cargo movers uh, it is ranked as one of the top 100 iata companies in delhi uh, he is an expert in logistics and customs uh, he is also an energy and a health enthusiast uh, he is one of our members who is a inspiration to many and lots more to learn from him so without me going further let me just invite toastmaster jk arora to take the virtual stadium a uh, podium uh, with that said jk arora over to you thank you toastmaster brinda for your kind words so the topic uh, title is in life energy is everything the force that drives life good morning all toastmasters guest and uh, other uh, distinguished uh, toastmaster today i want to talk to you about something that is very essential to our existence and yet overlooked or taken for granted energy yes that intangible force that propel us forward fuel our ambitions and shapes our very existence so let's divine into the world of energy together shall we okay but before we get yes. into the nitty gritty let me ask you a question what comes to your mind when you hear the word energy let's give your thoughts isn't it fasc fascinating how we all have different association with energy from caffeine fueled morning to the excitement of a cheering crowd at a sports event and energy manifest in permit way in our lives so there is a very important uh, quote what makes the difference between one man and another man is the difference in this energy and nothing else what makes one man great and another weak and low is the energy my mentor used to say he who thinks himself weak will become weak and that is true as albert einstein also once said energy cannot be created or destroyed it can only be changed from one form to another and do we see this principle in action every uh, single day let me tell you a very uh, real story of my relative is uh, mr pramod kataria he is from agra and 40 years he is detected arthritis so all as you know all doctors has prescribed him that uh, you take med you have to take this medicine throughout life and other things and after one month when he took the medicine he went to the chemist and just want to know what, what this medicine is there and uh, the chemist told that this is a can also used in a cancer so he thought himself that when a cancer i am not a cancer patient but if i take it it will affect my other parts of the body so he uh, he has taken this as a challenge and even uh, now he is uh, now 59 and he has uh, broken 40 uh, world records in linka book of records uh, in uh, other records he has broken and he started complete he started uh, uh, his taking a daily now 3 uh, hours he is doing uh, uh, cycling he is doing marathon 
just now he has completed marathon of 21 kilometer in two hours and 40 minutes in spite of having a pain it's not that arthritis its pain has been uh, uh, is still there once you have arthritis whatever you do the pain will be there so he thought when the pain is there let's do something extraordinary and in 59 uh, today now in 60 he's he's planning that uh, i will do a cycling worldwide and with everything now in 80 years he's planning that i will go to the himalayas so this is the power of the energy which uh, i just want to uh, i was very enthusiastic whenever i meet him he's uh, very uh, energetic and uh, he always guide me and one of the more story i like to highlight uh, is uh, uh, is uh, is a uh, pursue the passion for painting one of my ideas is year of working a um, uh, dex job the moment they dip their brush into the vibrant colors you could practically feel the energy radiating from them it was as if they had unlocked a new level of vitality simply by following the herd so let's ponder for a minute moment how does energy impact our daily lives think about it from the buzzing atmosphere of a busy city to a translucent of the sacred forest, the energy around us influences our mood, productivity, and overall well-being. I mean, have you ever tried to stay focused in a room full of energetic toddlers? It's like herding cat on a sugar rush. If you see five uh, children in a room, so energy always transferred from one form to another. But let's not forget the most crucial source of energy in our life is ourselves. Can anyone tell me what fuels your personal energy? Don't be shy. For some, it might be good night's sleep or a hearty meal. For others, it could be the support of loved ones or the thrills of chasing their dream. Personally, I think my morning cup of coffee deserves an honorary mention here without it. I would probably resemble a sloth more than a functioning member of society. Now let's dwell a little deeper into the significance of energy in achieving our goals and aspiration. Think about the pioneer who dared to defy the odds and pursue their dreams against all obstacles. In the in words of Ophrey Minfrey, she told, the more you praise and celebrate your life, the more there is in life to celebrate. So let's harness the power of positive energy and embrace each day with enthusiasm and gratitude. So I conclude, my friends, remember this, energy is not a just concept, it is very essence of life itself. So let's cherish, nurture, and use it, propel ourselves towards a higher, towards a brighter and more fulfilling future. I love, uh, I love to have your thoughts, question, or even your own energy packed and anti thoughts. So let's move this. Uh, thank you. And uh, so I have over to Toastmaster Brinda for next. Uh, no, J.K. Arora, you yeah. are the TMOD, so you just introduce the uh, meeting format. Okay. So, you can call upon the role players for introduce their roles and to give the brief about their roles. So, our uh, timer is... Uh, Mr. Shahid. And, yeah, thank, uh, yeah. yeah, thank you, TMOD, JK Arora. So, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow Toastmasters. I am Shahid, the timer of today's session. So, respect your time, respect the time, time will respect you. So, everyone uh, being a student or a professional or whichever is, we know what's the value of time. So, in the same manner, we are giving very much importance to the time in our meeting as well. So in this meeting, as a timer, I will time the all the activities which are taking place in this meeting. During the meeting, as a prepared speeches, 
so i will be uh, give uh, i will be noting down the time of the uh, speakers and i will show the timer cards let me share my timer cards for the prepared speeches at the end of 5 minute i will show the green card and at the end of 6th minute i will show the yellow card and at the end of 7th minute i will show the red card once the red card is shown the speaker will have 30 seconds grace period to close the prepared speech and similarly for the evaluation we have 3 minutes time at the 2 minutes i will show the green card 2 and 1/2 hello and third minute i will show the uh, red card similarly there is an exciting session table topics for this each speaker will get 2 minutes of time so at the end of first minute i will show green at the end of 1 and 1/2 i will show hello and at the end i will show the red card so i will submit my i will uh, submit or i will uh, give my report at the end of the meeting thank you and over to you uh, toastmaster of the day jk arora so next is our uh, counter yeah thank you toastmaster mm -hmm. jk toastmaster. arora yeah i am the general evaluator and counter board so my duty is to count the filler words a uh, ums and uh, the words which needs not to be used to count in that meeting so i will be giving my report when called for yeah after the ro role players gramin gramin okay so next is our gramin toastmaster hari nayak thank you toastmaster of the day um, jk arora ji um good day fellow toastmasters and guests as a grammarian it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all speakers listening carefully to the language usage i'll take note of any good language usage and not so good language usage and of course the word of the day so the word of the day for today's meeting with the theme which arora ji so nicely pointed out is in life energy is everything so the word of the day is spirited right it's the adjective form of spirit i'll be posting it in the chat which means full of spirit energy enthusiasm liveliness um couple of examples of using the word are the toastmasters club is full of spirited members who participate enthusiastically right so every speaker is enc encouraged to use the word of the day and i'll be giving my report when called upon during the meeting and also report upon the usage of the word of the day thank you over back to you toastmaster roj so next is our uh, our prepared speeches and uh, the evaluator so we have a wonderful Yeah, we have Toastmaster Datta, who is the evaluator for the first speaker. You can call upon him, Jake Arora ji. Yes. So we invite Toastmaster Datta, who is a general evaluator. For sorry, not general evaluator. Is the evaluate? Okay, evaluate. Right. So I am at the area of Arthur and Vishal. Yes, please. so very uh, good good morning to everyone uh, uh, and special greetings to my target speaker toastmaster anjali today i am going to evaluate toastmaster anjali level 2 project 3 project uh, the purpose of this pro project is to uh, uh, prepare a speech uh, to define how toastmaster envisions mentoring so the time limit Uh, timer do not the time as uh, five to seven minutes. So let me walk back to your team body. Trust master J K. Next uh, we invite uh, evaluator D T M Noor Muhammad for uh, speaker of Trust Master Brinda. Uh, sorry, Arvani, J K. I think yeah, yeah, please go ahead, Brinda. Sorry, J.K. You have to invite uh, Toastmaster Anjali for her speech now. 
Okay. So we invite Toastmaster Anjali for uh, his for his speech, please. Am I audible? Yes, please. Sir. Thank you, Toastmaster Arora. Have you ever tried something new that was exciting but also not confident? Maybe you started a new business, moved into a new city or joined coaching. In these times, it can be really helpful to have someone who can help you. This can be a purse, this can be a guider, a supporter or a mentor. There was someone who has done this thing before and can tell you the challenges and how to overcome them. They can also cheer on you. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. I'm Toastmaster Anjali. Today, I'm going to tell about a special mentor who helped me grow a lot, both as a person and my career. Get ready to about get ready to hear about my amazing story. When I was in 10 years old, I we moved to Rasmindri, which was new city for me. I joined the sixth standard at the English medium high school. In my previous years, I studied in Telugu medium, so I didn't know how to communicate or write in English. I couldn't even spell some words properly. I had been the class topper in all my previous years, but now in my new school, I was struggling. All my classmates thought I was very nice and calm girl, but the reality is I didn't know how to communicate with them in English. All they were uh, good at English except me. I cried every day because of the language problem. It has affected my understanding of all other subjects, not only just English. I still remember that day. It was the afternoon and the first period of maths. Can anyone tell me how many of you are scared of maths or don't like the math subject? We had our first uh, exam a month ago. Now, Kumar sir, our maths teacher, started reading the marks according to our roll numbers. My roll number was 21. My hands were shivering and my heart was beating heavily because I'm sure Sar will scold me. And it happened. I got two marks out of 20. Next day, Sar came with me and suggested me if I didn't understand the maths or English properly, he would teach me both the subjects in his tuition classes. I immediately joined his tuition. He taught me English and maths. In the next exam, I scored 15 marks out of 20 in his tuition. Every day, I use it to read the concept before his lecture. It would be easy for me to understand and ask the doubts to him. This shows how a mentor can take care of his mentee by encouraging preparation and creating a comfortable learning environment. He often checks my grammar and speaking skills. Sometimes he asked, he suddenly asked me the meaning of the words. There are two words, frightened and often which I still remember. He also used to ask my mother, mother whether I was practicing at home or not. This denotes how a mentor wanted you to succeed beyond just class time. He used to give me some tasks and challenges to test how well I understand previous concept and push, push me to see how much I accomplish. This represents continuous growth of a mentee. If I didn't grasp the concept after his initial explanation, he would patiently find another way to explain it to me. 
this symbolized his commitment to my learning and respect for his role as a teacher he even used to drop me at my home this showing personal caring and responsibility beyond teaching this is how mentoring played a crucial role uh, crucial role in my journey of overcoming language barriers and academic challenges by this journey i get this spirit to overcome all my uncertainties kumar sir mentorship was like a guiding light that helped me navigating through unfamiliar territory he didn't just teach me subjects he provided he provided support to and support to encouragement and briefing in my abilities currently i am third year btech now even now also he called me and discussed to how was your career how you are doing well so my story exactly represents the relation between the mentor and the mentee of our toastmaster club this bond is one that lasts forever as we help to each other to grow in life thank you now we take a one minute break to give feedback to toastmaster anjali so timer please inform after one minute is done next we invite dtm noor mohammad evaluator for speaker toastmaster brinda thank you toastmasters today fellow toastmasters my dear spirited guests a very good morning to you all today toastmaster brinda is embarking on a speech which is titled mentorship and cultivating the i can mindset the purpose of her speech is to clearly define how toastmasters envisions mentoring and it is also her purpose to share some aspect of a previous experience as a protege uh, timer please note the timing is 5 to 7 minutes for the speech back to you toastmasters so toastmaster brinda for your speech please thank you tmod and welcome everyone have you ever been in a situation where you have felt completely broken down as if nothing mattered whatever you do nothing is going to happen you are never going to be successful raise your hands if you have been in that situation before i can see some hands raised and that was me too whatever i did the face of the pandemic is the one that i clearly remember it was the face when i was stuck in canada here my whole family was in india i couldn't meet them i couldn't do anything and everything felt depressing i was stuck and uh, thinking what could i do now how could i make myself better and that's when i decided to find a mentor and there comes brenda my mentor she is the one who has been my mentor from the time of the pandemic till date and there are certain things that she brought into my life that changed my outlook completely the first thing that she said is Brenda don't focus on what you can't do just think what you can do oh my gosh 
she gave me a task the first task was figure out what all i can do so when i said i can't travel i can't do this i can't meet my people i can't do this she said what can you do can you talk to people yes can you see people yes can you interact can you share videos yes so all that was surprising the next thing she said is figure out what you can do at your work now at work that was the time i was working as an hr professional and i was frustrated frustrated why you say number 1 it was a time of the pandemic people were just leaving work they were exhausted the turn around uh, the uh, the turn around time or the turnover or sorry the time the people keep resigning had increased tremendously i was trying to convince our leadership on some of the ways to improve employee engagement but everything was falling flat again i go to brenda hey brenda this is not happening there is nobody listening and she asked what have you done so far i said i have spoken to a spoken to b spoken to the ceo nothing works she said what's your data have you showed them the numbers oh i didn't have you showed them how many people have resigned in the last quarter no so get the figures and it was the light bulb moment for me with spirited energy i made a presentation about what all had happened why people join our organization why have we faltered and what could we do better and everything had those numbers the number of people who were unwell the number of people who couldn't continue with us and number of people who were willing to continue but we had our doors closed and voila that year when every people like lots of people were resigning we had 30 new employees joining our organization and that all happened because brenda switched my focus from what i can't do to what i can do so friends this is the same journey that and same experience that i have had in toastmasters too toastmasters offers a wonderful platform of mentorship but how many of us have actually used the opportunity to find a mentor and mind you it's not a one way street where your mentor hands over a tray and says here's your speech do well here's your journey here's how you could do it no friends the journey is not that easy you need to be in the driver seat and the mentor would be the one who would be a gps who can tell you how to go from point a to point b but you really have to be the driver of your car what i mean by that if you have found a mentor make sure that you engage with the mentor you ask the necessary questions when you have been given assignments you stay on those assignments and you deliver you have to make this a give and take relationship and you are the one who is designing that you can have the best mentors but it is up to you to figure out how you turn out your journey how you want it to be for example we have all heard about the speeches by toastmaster dtm dhananjaya verity price uh, nisha shivram all of them had wonderful mentors and that is the reason they were the winners of toastmaster speeches and they have they are well known in the toastmaster circle but do you know that verity price had more than 40 changes to a speech and thanks to all her mentors that her finesse came out which we all are excited to see so that is what mentoring is all about you have to be the one driving it and you have to be the one who who can you know find that mentor so even within our club too we have a wonderful uh, forum for mentorship which is just forming in so i would invite you to take up that mentorship and find where it takes you 
not only in your personal journey but also in your professional life so that's my experience of mentorship that i wanted to share with you and i invite you to figure out what what matters to you are you ready to switch your mindset from the i can't like how i did in the past to i can which i am today thank you and back to you tmod arora yeah now we take a one minute break to give feedback to toastmaster brinda to timer please inform after one minute is done now we will move to our second section of the meeting which is the impromptu speeches so please welcome our table topic master of the day mr uh, toastmaster ashish ashish sorry thank you toastmaster jk arora ji how is the energy after this particular topic which our toast master of the day has brought i just wanted to ask this question to the forum how is the energy i am sure with the spirited uh, spirited speeches what we just heard your energy would be quite high and you would be ready to take up the challenge of table topics now table topics is something which we all face in our lives we need to spontaneously speak at different situations we get a chance we get a topic and we have to speak for it for a short and small duration that happens in our life very often now in toastmasters this is an opportunity that you can actually practice for that particular skill in table topics you need to be spirited you need to come forward and speak for 1 to 2 minutes now how does it help it helps you once a topic is given you need to listen attentively that's the first skill the second skill is that you need to think about the topic on what you can speak the third skill what you develop is you need to organize your speech and fourth one is you need to deliver that speech before the audience so lots of things to learn i encourage everybody to come forward and take up the table topics with that let me open the floor and to start i'd request any of the toastmasters out there to take up my first uh, table topics we would be having in total uh, five table topics so let me start with the first and uh, jk arora ji if you can help me see who is raising their hand sure P please raise your hand and uh, timod will help me to call you okay i can see kanika yeah. hi kanika so good to see you are you ready for your table topic yes yes awesome okay so our toastmaster day told his morning ritual to start and get energy is having coffee what's the first thing you do to energize your day kanika what's the first thing you do to energize your day thank you so much for giving me this opportunity myself kanika and the i'm very spirited with this topic because i'm a very spiritual and a ritualistic person who is not as much fanatic but is fascinated with as per spirituality is concerned my daily routine starts off with meditation yoga and my daily exercises accompanied with a lot of positive energy that i can gain from the universe in person that i can express is my mother is a highly spiritual person 
and as per being an astrologer she always motivates me inspires me to be spiritual not over spiritual but be up to that level so you can get get the energy of the universe i would suggest and i would personally uh, uh, suggest you all to start your day with in brahm muhurt which is around 3 am in that span you can gain as much energy because at uh, that span of time universe is full of energy which can robust you with that spirit with that enthusiasm with that just and that can energize you com your complete day and at the end of the day you will feel nothing as like restless it will the consequences that it will give you is like healthy sleep good uh, balanced diet so yeah with this i conclude start uh, start up your day and as i personally spoke about i personally uh, starts up my day with spirituality ritualistic and with exercises with this i rest my mic thank you so much next thank you kanika ji so yeah uh, jk roy ji you wanted to add something Please yeah next ahead. is close master shen okay thank you thank you kanika so uh waking up in brahma rat that is waking up before the sunrise right that will fill up with your energy thank you for sharing that with that we move on to the next table topic speaker that is tm shahid tm shahid are you ready for a topic actually as part of timer my hand got raised so no problem i will take it <laughs> okay 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 I good time good. myself yeah. good that you are spirited to come forward and take up this table topics <laughs> okay about toastmaster the jk arora ji said that we should celebrate our life as often as we can celebration means that you need to laugh you need to love you need to take care of yourself so tm shahid is laughter truly best energy booster is laughter truly the best energy booster tm shahid yeah thank you uh, table topic master ashish for giving me this such a nice topic yeah i am very much spirited with the topic given so laughter is very much important or not yes it is very much why because in day in and day out we will be having so many things some good some or not if you are in a uh, in a good mood so there is no need you will not look for anything so if you are feeling lonely or you are depressed or you are not thinking like the things are not going the way which you are thinking so then you should look for alternatives you will go to a friend while talking so if you are just going and talking that will not give that much uh, effect to us if we are engaging ourselves and we are adding some humor and if they poke some jokes and if we uh, uh, if we also engaged in that so that will relieve us that laughter will give and that will give spirit to to the next moment so in life laughter is very much important uh, but uh, uh, i see like few people laughter so much so anything too much is bad so we should limit to it and we have to take everything like laughter as one of the tool to uh, enhance ourselves or to motivate ourselves so in that manner i see laughter is very much important so even in the home also we will be having the family right so if everyone was sitting and chatting in the mobile or doing our own works so that will not good right so we have to engage with each other we have to while engaging if we add humor or laughter to it that will be more uh, energetic to everyone so if you see the person who adds the laughter to you as a friend or a family member whenever he comes automatically laughter will come to you so be such a kind of person who relieves uh, tension from others so in that manner laughter is very much important so thank you for giving me this uh, spirited topic over to you table topic master awesome team shahid so what i got from your table topics 
is engage, laugh, give spirit to everybody for the next moment. Thank you. Thank you for that take. Okay, so I can see Sentil G's hand is up. TM Sentil, are you open for a table topic? Yes, hopefully it should be easy one, right? Yeah, yeah, it will be very easy. <laughs> I can see you early morning. I assume you are outside and uh, uh, you are walking. So Toastmaster, they shared one story of a, a person uh, who had difficulties, but he is doing marathons right now, even with the pain, what he has. And it's because of the energy, what is there? So TM Central, your topic for today is, how does physical activity change your energy levels? How does physical activity change your energy levels, TM Central? Toastmaster Ashish Sina, uh, really thankful to, for giving me a wonderful topic because I love doing physical activities and uh, I get up early and I go for cycling and that is where I practice my speech. That is where I plan to do what, what needs to be done for the next coming day. And once you're doing the physical activities, your mind becomes fresh. As an example, I had gone for this half marathon. It's not a 42 kilometers or 21 kilometers which I ran. I ran for three kilometers, but uh, Toastmaster Ashish and my dear friends, I've been told not to run, not to do any sporting activities because I have a ACL tear which happened 10 years before. I'm not supposed to do any kind of sporting, but my willpower, perseverance and energy and the spirit that is a good spirit that keeps me going and uh, I ensure that I do all the sporting activities, but nothing has happened uh, till now. And I really love this topic because physical activity is the one which gives me the positive energy to do anything in life. Today morning, I just attended this. I'm just attending this, this uh, Toastmasters meeting. What makes me to attend this? What makes me to practice table topics every day? What makes, me, um, what makes me to talk to strangers every day? And one of the main reasons would be the activity which, is, which has been done before I attend any meetings. I would uh, request each one of you to do some kind of physical activity because that is the one which gives you a lot of positive energy and uh, high spirits in the positive way. And uh, thank, uh, thanking you, uh, thank you, Toastmaster Ashish, for giving a wonderful topic. All the very best to the other speakers. Thank you. Thank you, TM Central. That was an inspiring speech. Exercising gives us positive energy. Wow, uh, I'm really inspired by what all you are doing. With that, I open the floor uh, for guests also, if anybody would like to go forward. Yeah, before any of the Toastmasters, if anybody yeah. guests want to go forward. Okay, I can see hand of our G up. Uh, so Pratik, are you open for a topic? Yes, please. Okay, let me find a tough one for spirited Pratik. <laughs> okay. After to, uh, our Toastmaster day talked about sleep. Sleep is really important. A good night's sleep is important. TM Pratik, can a short nap really recharge your batteries? Can a short nap really recharge your batteries? TM Pratik. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster Ashish, for giving me this wonderful topic. I have never thought of it, but yes, it's important to think whenever somebody is giving such a nice topic. Uh, yeah, so I will first talk about the sleep. So sleep, uh, no doubts, energize my mind, body, and soul. It's a type of meditation which you are having uh, with your complete spirit or with your complete body, uh, which, which, which make you spirited when you wake up in the morning. So if that is the reference, then definitely if you are having a short nap during the daytime, it is going, it is meditating your body. It is 
motivating motivating your body to prepare yourself for the next assignment you are having in front of you but for having a short nap it's important that you are uh, free from stress because uh, some people are not getting some even sleep during the night so how they will get a good short nap during the day so it's important uh, that as uh, as mr jk arora has introduced the theme you have to be all the time full of energy and when you are full of energy it means that you are not keeping anything on your heart if something is coming to your heart or to your mind you are just discussing it out with yourself which is self talk or discussing it out with somebody you feel that if you discuss with them your problems will be relieved and when your problem will be relieved you will be able to take a short nap when you will take a short nap again i am relating to the same thing you will be able to meditate for short time and when you are meditating for the short time it will relieve all your stresses little bit stresses which is there in your mind and your body so i will say definitely a short nap is going to relieve you from short stresses short pains and it will give you a lot of energy which will help you not only to energize yourself and to energize the world we have to contribute to the society and to contribute we have to be energetic and you have we have to keep our surrounding energetic over to you thank you for this topic yeah thank you toastmaster pratik my take away from your speech is we should be stress free we to do that we should discuss either with ourselves or our friends and be relieved of that particular stress then we would be able to take short nap and we would be able to sleep well thank you thank you for an spirited yep with that the floor is open i can see madan kumar's uh, tm madan kumar's hand raised okay tm madan are you open for a table topic yeah yes awesome okay tm madan how does spending time in nature impact your energy how does spending time in nature impact your energy tm madan uh good morning good afternoon uh, good evening everyone uh, thank you table topic master for the topic uh how spending time uh, impacts my energy in the nature basically you see uh, we all around we say that uh, go green go greenery because it has its own impact on the uh, on the energy of the humans at the same times on the environment and uh, someone who wakes up every day early morning and uh, go for cycling the one who already mentioned uh, just before and someone who goes for a walk ask them how, how how the entire day feels once the day is completed because they do it in the nature and ask someone who uh, been in the room who wakes up at 10 am or 11 am and don't know what to do next and they uh, spend thinking what to be done uh, rest of the day and when the day completes ask them how uh, it, it feels I mean, what did they achieve? So, being in the nature, uh, it, reju it rejuvenates our energy, and it helps us be free, stress free. And it helps us to think wisely, and at the same time, we feel enlightened and uh, light mooded, and at the same times, we we feel uh, inspired, and you know, we get that energy where we can put most of our time where it's required. Um, and this helps uh, our uh, uh, in achieving our goals and also spending more time with family friends so overall you know uh, that's uh, uh, i i completely agree to this topic so that uh, that's where we plant trees in our at our home so that you know that green energy comes and wipes our energy as well so i uh, i believe in this topic and and not only me everyone here i will urge to you know go for a uh going to the uh, going to the nature early morning and see how it feels thank you over to table topic master
Thank you, Toastmaster Madan. You coined a new word for me. Go green, right? We need to go green so that we can think wisely and achieve our goals, share more time with our loved ones. Thank you. With that, uh, yep, I can see a few of the guests in the meeting. Shelva Kumar, Vikas, do you want to take up a table topic? If so, I am open uh, to give you table topic. Anybody who has not gotten a chance to speak in this meeting, please come forward. Yes, Ashish. Yeah, hi, Vikas. Vikas. Okay. Hi, Vikas. So good to hear you. Good morning. Good morning, Vikas. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yeah. So, okay. Our speakers talked about their mentors, how mentors brought energy and spirit to their lives. Vikas, PM Vikas, how does mentor bring energy into our life? How does mentor, how does a mentor brings energy to our life? TM Vikas. Okay. Thank you, Table Topic Master. How does a mentor bring energy to my life? Right? So I wanted to share some live experiences. Uh, on this topic. So, uh, that depicts how mentor adds value or how mentor brings energy into my life. When I wanted to learn swimming, initially, I had, uh, I was going through YouTube videos, swimtofly.com. So, because I was embarrassed to uh, you know, <clears throat> do mistakes. So in front of crowd or if someone identified my uh, corrections, I was embarrassed to accept that. Initially, I was thinking, okay, I could learn from videos. So I started following through that. But you know, it is like watching the videos without uh, the uh, and practicing without guru is like uh, uh, expecting the vehicle to drive without a drive proficient driver so when i reached out to my mentor so when he told me the tips started when i started to follow the tips given by my mentor so I was uh, able to, you know, learn the swimming in very relaxed way. Otherwise, my way of learning was creating so much of stress in me. Because my movements probably, I was trying to duplicate it as per the videos, but I was never able to. So when I asked my coach, so he told me what are the necessary corrections to be done. The right movements reduced the entire physical stress. And that increased my proficiency of swimming. Similar way in Toastmasters. So whenever I wanted to give speech, I used to reach out to my mentor. So to understand, to validate what uh, the way I'm presenting is right or not. So without them, probably I wouldn't have given the without them, so I wouldn't have achieved the best speaker award. In the same way. So I always have validation from So before 
without them probably i wouldn't be i would just survive but i cannot create a better i cannot reach the uh, next milestone so mentors <clears throat> mentors are very much necessary to achieve the milestones without mentor we can just survive we cannot achieve so that is how mentors added uh, when you achieve energy flows by itself that is how mentors add energy into my life thank you thank you toastmaster vikas mentors helps us to achieve our milestone without them we can just survive that was my take from your speech amazing such an amazing uh, speaker stable topic speakers which we had i hope it will help to keep all our spirits up going forward with that i would like to hand it over back to toastmaster of today thank you so thank you for an amazing table topic uh, section and uh, toastmaster ashish thank you for very full of energy spirited now we are moving to the last section of the meeting evolution section i'll request dtm no to uh, please give a evolution of dtm no. uh, arora ji yeah you just hand over to g pratik he will okay. proceed okay yeah so toastmaster pratik please yeah so thank you to osma sir jk arora and uh, it's important that uh, he is trying to you know uh, keep the meeting full of energy so i will also just try to keep it with full of energy so i am the general evaluator of the day Is it just me or is yeah, Pratik yeah. stuck? Yeah, it's stuck. I think it's Pratik stuck. Even I am not able to. Yeah. Yeah. Am I audible now? Yes. 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 So sorry yeah. for that. I think some network issues. Okay. So today I am the general evaluator of the day, and my my duty is to evaluate the complete meeting and to evaluate some of the role players uh, I am having uh, my team with me. so before going into my evaluation i request my role players which is the first evaluator for the speech of toastmaster anjali and for that evaluator is toastmaster datta sai so i request toastmaster datta sai to come on stage and give us the report for toastmaster anjali am i audible yeah toastmaster datta sai toastmaster datta sai you are there sai. if you are speaking you are on mute sai datta you are on mute you are on mute how can i remove this background is it like can i don't worry you carry on now yeah okay so i'm back with my report uh, a special greetings to my target speaker toastmaster anjali uh, congratulations for completing your level 2 project 3 and now coming to my evaluation so i am going to evaluate in our uh, traditional sandwich method uh, first let me tell the things you have excelled at first the way you start the meeting with a question so basically questioning is the thing which actually uh things about your topic without even going into your topic so they have a basic idea of what you are going to tell them so the questioning was uh, clear and now coming to the second thing you have excelled which was hand gestures the hand gestures are perfectly synced with your speech same goes to the voice modulation you have used the voice modulation and modulate the speech according uh, according to your highs and lows of your speech which was good and next thing uh, and next thing you have excelled the way you expressed yourself i mean you are so comfortable 
to express your speech and and we have structured your speech in a well manner because first you ask the question and then you tell you about your childhood and again your mentor and now there are no particular comms i mean mistakes and your grammar is perfect and you didn't use any short pauses or long pauses uh, sometimes there are small uh, short pauses at just at the end of the meeting which are negligible with some practice with your speech and now coming to the recommendations maybe you can add something about your uh, current mentor so maybe you can show tell more about your men current mentor toastmaster journey how your toastmaster journey started and how it was going uh, you have tell about your mentor at your early age which was good because at every point of time we have a mentors at every life uh, as life goes on so maybe you should include more not just more just a small introduction about your current mentor which would be good so that's all with my evaluation congratulations for completing your level 2 with this over to you general general evaluator toastmaster prateek thank you toastmaster that was high for the evaluation uh, my next uh, evaluator is the evaluator of toastmaster rinda who is dtm noor so i request dtm noor to come on stage speaking yeah. stage yeah thank you general evaluator good day my dear dynamic dashing spirit of toastmasters esteemed guests and the very passionate and energetic speaker toastmaster rinda what a speech rinda i truly could feel the energy permeating from your expressions your gestures and it was clearly evident in your voice as well now if there is anything which differentiates a regular speaker from an extraordinary one it is the type of energy aura that they radiate and deliver just must have wonder you managed to capture my attention and you kept me held to my seat until you finished that speech what a wonderful way to uh, narrate a story with so many profound examples now i loved your opening the rhetorical question brought back so many powerful emotions of rejection isolation depression and helplessness i could completely relate with you now connecting to the emotions which are felt by all at the very beginning of your speech is an absolutely great start to for any speech for that matter now your personal example of you getting stuck in canada while your family is in india during covid added that credibility factor to whatever you said and it was clear beyond the you know any doubt that i could trust your speech now you connected the depression during the time uh, which you actually felt depressed and you did something about it by finding a mentor now brenda shine to your story narration skills today right you gave ample evidence of how brenda actually gave you practical things to do and to see how simple things can actually change your perspective and that is truly amazing the way in which you brought that thing out that the change in perspective with your storytelling skills i thought it was truly amazing i also love the analogy of uh, the prodigy being in the driver seat and the mentor acting as gps excellent way to put it. now i also liked how you repeated certain key ideas right you gave examples of the world champions in public speaking in general and a specific example of variety fight and how the mentors have truly helped them reach the pinnacle of their achievement now i also would like to point out how you implored the audience to explore opportunities in those masters platform and to find mentors and reap benefits like nowhere else uh, you know one could do that now what i would suggest for you to improve in your further speeches is to enact that role play using vocal variety if a dialogue is involved for that matter between like for example between you and brenda right to summarize brenda you had great energy very contagious passion storytelling skills are far excellent you had great gestures you had solid examples which you built 
to fortify your points which you conveyed you had a great conclusion if you could just focus on dramatizing that dialogue you surely wake up even the last benches from this slumber back to you ji thank you dtm noor for the evaluation uh, okay so we are having i am having some role players who will be helping me out so i will call upon the first role player grammarian of the day toastmaster hari nayar thank you toastmaster prateek um that was a fantastic spirited meeting um great speeches and uh, i want to say it started off uh, great with uh, toastmaster shahid uh, with a fantastic phrase without any further ado so i'll get into it without any further ado myself the word of the day um almost everybody used it um arora ji kanika vrinda sentil and prateek used it once uh toastmaster noor mohammed and uh, shahid used it twice and total of six times for toastmaster ashish so that was fantastic um there was some fantastic usage um of grammar and phrases uh toastmaster arora ji gave some fantastic quotes and i want to point out two visual phrases that he used uh the moment they dip their brush into the vibrant colors and the second one still sticks with me herding cats on a sugar rush i don't think that image will leave me for a long time um and um with uh, toastmaster anjali the first speech again there were some visual references hands were shivering heart was beating very hard symbolized his commitment guiding light to one familiar territory etc uh, toastmaster vrinda again some fantastic usage some great quotes a uh, light bulb moment for me falling flat and voila um and mind you mentor mentor would be a gps etc um and with the other speeches i found overall with the theme there were some energizing spirited words that were used robust ritualistic will power perseverance spirit rejuvenated enlightened spirited uh, many more to go with there were some very few not so good usage usage um i would say um there was usage like speak about ask doubts to him it would be ask him my doubts uh, there was a usage in 59 today it would be actually at age 59 today but overall i would say a fantastic uh, session for as a grammarian i really enjoyed all the speeches back to you toastmaster prab Thank you, Toastmaster Hari, for the wonderful uh, grammarian report. <clears throat> Now I would call upon the timers report from Toastmaster Shahid. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, G. Pratik. So let's just me share my screen. Can you see my screen? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I am very much spirited to present my. report even the uh, grammarian report was over uh, grammarian please uh, add one one more word for using this spirited word yeah that uh, timer report goes like this for the prepared speeches toastmaster anjali took 5 minute 56 seconds toastmaster runda took 7 minute 7 seconds and for the impromptu session toastmaster kanika took 1 minute 57 seconds and toastmaster shahid took 2 minute 11 seconds and toastmaster senthil 1 minute 46 seconds and toastmaster pratik 2 uh, minute 24 seconds and toastmaster madan 2 minutes and toastmaster vikas 3 minute 55 seconds and for the evaluation session toastmaster datta sairam took 2 uh, minute 30 seconds and dtm noor took 3 minute 23 seconds so overall it's a very good report and uh, with this i will conclude my report and over to you uh, g pratik yeah thank you for this uh, report uh, toastmaster shahid for the timer report okay so now it's my turn i am the general evaluator so i will be evaluating the complete meeting uh, first i will give my first report of our counter <clears throat> uh so uh and so right these are the filler words 
So I will be giving that report. So Datta Sai used three hours. Anjali used, although she was flawless, I will say, but she used one hour and there are some pauses, but you are flawless. Wonderful. DTM Noor was full of energy, no doubts. And he had the rhythm in his speech. So I like that. But no, no filler words, no uh, pauses, no account, uh, as and ums. Postmaster Vinda, wonderful, full of energy and uh, two hours and great energy level, right? Postmaster Ashish, great energy level and two hours just. Kanika, four hours, but good, uh, good topic, wonderful speech. Postmaster Sinthil Kumar, one hour. Toastmaster Madan, uh, five hours, one so, one you know. Toastmaster Vikas, two, three hours, two so's, two you know's. Uh, Datta Sai, uh, one hour and one pause. Uh, I mean was the filler word and so, two so's, two so's. Toastmaster Hari, almost flawless, but at the end I just noted one hour. So, but a wonderful, good rhythm of speech, good way of, you know, giving the report. Uh, now coming to the Toastmaster Jacob Arora. Uh, so many hours, six hours I have noted for you. And good energy level, good topic you have uh, told. So this, maybe I have missed somebody. Uh, Shahid, Shahid, two hours and two souls. Okay. Yeah. So this was my report about the R counter. Now coming to my general evaluation report. So our meeting started almost on time, just five minutes here and there. And it's fine, like five minutes here and there is the tolerance in terms of technical we are keeping and it's okay for that. So wonderful, but we started the meeting on time. Then we started with the mission of uh, Toastmasters Club. It is very important if you understand it rightly, it is actually completing each and everything which we are which is our really mission and then coming to uh, coming to the president she, she introduced uh, she started the meeting and then she told she has introduced the guest she asked the guest the question how you come to know about so it is a part of uh, it is a part of her role and she has played very well and after that uh, uh, it was the introduction of toastmasters of the day so toastmasters of the day had a wonderful theme and uh, it, it, it kept the meeting alive, I will say. It, it kept the meeting full of energy. Only uh, feedback to Toastmasters of the day is uh, you we, we can introduce, uh, properly introduce a mentoring. Maybe you can choose your own mentor. And this small hiccups, you know, can easily be bridged by understanding the structure of the speech. And uh, uh, just one more thing that I'm feeling that, you know, you are reading maybe. So just come out of that reading zone. Whatever coming is from your heart is the full of energy, I will say. If you are reading, it will not come from your heart. If you are just telling, let it go wrong, nothing, nothing will happen. Let it go wrong, just speak from your heart. Some structure is there in your mind, you will do perfectly well. And that is the way we are learning the structure, thinking at that on the spot and, and putting up in front of audience in a structured way. But Amazing team, amazing, uh, amazing role which you have played in this meeting. Uh, then coming to the Toastmaster, uh, Table Topic Master, wonderful topic. Again, you were full of energy. The topics were apt and related to the theme of the day, which is important because when theme is there, sometimes you have to, you know, dress up even as per the theme. Sometimes you have to have the topics as per the theme. And if people are speaking, they can, they can also have a, they can have a speech related to the theme and people use the word of the day also. So it was wonderful. Then coming to the evaluation round, uh, both the evaluator has given the apt report and the good thing about it is everybody followed the times. So it's important. Overall, it was a wonderful meeting and um, uh, thanks for giving me this role to, so that I can put my thoughts forward as a, uh, our president Brinda also said mentoring plays a very, very important role. So we can help each other. It's not like that if uh, I am in Toastmasters for a longer time, I can mentor well. It's not like that. If you are a new joinee in Toastmasters, you can also mentor in a different way. But if you, if you are clear with the mission of Toastmasters Club. 
so we can mentor each other you can you know have a whatsapp chat and it will definitely improve our quality our mission of our life which is related to the toastmasters also that is all from my side uh, on this day which is full of energy to start with in the morning itself over to uh, toastmasters of the day and then to president of the club uh, to conclude the meeting thank you very much thank you toastmaster prateek general evaluator is very you have given a very guiding evaluation section very detailed and too much full of energy and spirited so now i will come to the closing remarks of the meeting of the theme and uh, i just uh, like to in fact i have covered all but uh, i just like to one thing i want to add in this energy is everything and force drives life if we see the example of great leaders like mahatma gandhi he started his uh, energy after 40 years even bill clinton also after 40 years so age is just a number any time you start energy even in 40 50 years and you can achieve it so now i will pass to control to uh, our uh, club president toastmaster brinda Thank you, Toastmaster Arora. Firstly, let's give a huge round of applause to Toastmaster Arora for this wonderful meeting. He truly brought energy into this day of the week. DTM Noor says, you know, for him, it, he's based in Kuwait. He starts at 4.30 and he says it brings energy into his day. And same with all of us. I think we truly experienced a very energetic meeting today. So thank you, JKG, for this wonderful theme. And we look forward to your energetic presence as always. So before we conclude, let me invite some of our guests to share their feedback. Uh, I can see a few uh, guests here. Uh, would someone like to start? Uh, let me catch a familiar face then of Toastmaster Kanika. Yeah, she joins us all the way from IIT Jammu. So she's uh, one of our youngest members or not a member yet. She's a regular guest. So let me ask you, Kanika, how was it? Um, I am speechless with my feedback today. It was like it has reached me up to that level, which is inexplicable in my point of view. And I'm very fortunate and thankful to Toastmaster. And recently I've completed my speechcraft program with an excellence of uh, honors with the with my mentors. And I'm so much, so much thankful and my sin sincere regards to everyone. Thank you so, so much Toastmasters and everyone present here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kanika. And, you know, as we discussed, the theme was about mentorship. Today, uh, it was a coincidence that both the speeches were about mentorship. And another coincidence that we are very soon going to be having a VP mentorship in Satvik. It's an exclusive role in Satvik because we are blessed with a lot of DTM experienced Toastmasters uh, within Satvik. And we thought of uh, leveraging their experience and that's how very soon we will be having a VP mentorship. And we are actually doing an exclusive mentorship program within Satvik. So if anybody wants to join, uh, it is open to members. So we are going to do a deep dive into mentorship. So it's open to all the members. Uh, having said that, uh, we are also launching a membership uh, interest survey. Uh, just to do a temperature check on what, are, what kind of themes you would like to have. Uh, how is it going so far? And we have a very democratic setup within Southwick. So our teams are uh, engineered, uh, keeping the energy levels high, spirits high. And we want to make sure that our members are enjoying all that, as well as our guests. We have a lot of guests coming over, uh, visiting us all the time. So uh, it's a reminder to all the members to please complete that survey as well. And to all our guests, uh, if, to consider joining us if you would want to. But even if you're not joining, you're always welcome within Satvik. Our doors are always open. And let me invite a few of our guests here who are Toastmasters to share their feedback as well. Uh, would somebody like to share their feedback? How about 
टोस्टमास्टर दत्ता हाय टोस्टमास्टर वंदा हाय सो आई नेवर एक्सपेक्ट टू वेक अप एट दिस अर्ली इन संडे मॉर्निंग बट टोस्टमास्टर द थिंग वेक मी अप so even with even if i have a, i had exams i never wake up this early in during sundays but actually it's not like that but i, I had got energy with energetic our tm body toastmaster jay karara so wonderful meeting and i love i love you way you that toastmaster arara uh, your team actually wake me up from my sleep so i had you all my laziness and just focus on the meeting so actually i have very small light the tube light has been burned out so that's why my face is dark so thank you for inviting you to our club and i will be looking forward for your more meetings and i would be join if i had a free time yes so you are welcome it. to join us yes uh it is we have a international audience that's the reason that it's at 7 o'clock in the morning because uh, uh, like for me in canada here it is uh, 6:30 when the meeting starts in the evening for some other people it's 9:30 in the evening uh, so that's the reason uh, that's the midpoint or a agreeable time that works for everyone uh, yes, that's that the reason much. we start early uh anyone else who would like to speak uh, how about uh, senthil would you like to share some feedback for us yeah wow. see i really enjoy the meeting because the topic itself resonated with me energy is the one which drives all the toastmasters to become better speakers and better communicators and i felt that uh, i am part of imb orators we meet at 7:45 am i thought we are the wow. first person to start the toastmasters meeting but here They study forty five minutes earlier, and this is the first time when I attended. I really enjoyed the entire session and uh, present both your uh, <clears throat> the starting speech as well as your speech was really really good. The general evaluator, uh, I think with his experience, he really uh, uh, the show was really good. I really understood and uh, I learned a lot. Thank you very much for this opportunity. thank you santhil and keep joining us whenever you can and maybe in the future we could also do a joint meeting some day if that's possible uh who else is there we can see uh, selva kumar yeah would you like uh, to share your feedback yeah it's yeah. so overall a uh, excellent meeting eh? i said uh, the first time i joined this meeting today actually from the beginning you spoke about the mentorship and then the how you are managing the meeting and the employee retainment and then after that the table topic also was very good excellent topic and overall is excellent yeah thank you thank you thank, thank you, you thank you so much thank you thank you uh, how about madan uh, would you like to share your feedback yeah thank you uh, rinda thanks for asking me yeah i uh, really enjoyed the meeting uh, thanks for everyone for making it happen uh, really the theme and uh, if the the energy that everyone brought into the meeting the table topics especially and also the speeches really uh, inspiring and i'm looking forward to join uh, you know a regular i mean uh, looking forward to join uh, meetings uh, regularly Yes, thank you. You're welcome. All of you are welcome to join us. And with that said, uh, let's conclude the meeting for today. Uh, it is. I think we are concluding in time, as Ajay said. The five minute idhar udhar is okay. So with that said, uh, let's see us. Uh, like enjoy your day, enjoy your week, and see you all again next week, same time, seven o'clock morning. IST is when we begin. And uh, thank you again.